Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? I have a couple of announcements actually today, believe it or not, which is a little bit new for me, but um, I'll just go ahead and say them. One, obviously you know about the charity thing for 2022. If you're a new sub, every sub is 10 cents to charity, so all you got to do is sub, and that's basically a pseudo donation to charity, but I found out a new way for already subs to help for the charity cause for the year. And all you got to do is like the video. What I'm going to do is every 1,000 likes on the channel, the entire channel, 1,000 likes on the channel is $1 per 1,000 likes. And just to be transparent with you, hold on, let me pick Pele so I don't dodge. Just to be transparent with you, last year we had about 500,000 likes on the channel. So this would add uh, $500 to the, the pool of charity that we're going to give at the end of the year. Just, just based on that. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping... Maybe we could hit just a little bit more than 500,000 on the channel this year because it's for charity. So if you're a sub, all you got to do is like the video and you're good to go. And again, one last thing. I know so many announcements today in today's video. Uh, and this, uh, in fact, almost all of these I'll be saying every day. But this one in particular, because it's fleeting on the 18th in two Fridays from now. Today is the 7th. So wait. Today's the 7th. Right? Is the 18th? Yeah, it is. So, two Fridays from now, <clears throat> um, we're going to be doing a 24-hour stream. It's going to be awesome. I haven't done one all year, and I know you guys have been missing it. I, I've had a lot of questions come in on uh, while I'm streaming, like, hey, man, when's the next 24-hour stream? I normally try to do one every couple months because you guys love them, um, but... I've just been a little bit busy this year, I guess. But guess what, man? We're doing it. We're doing it on the 18th, and I'm super excited for it. It's going to be a ton of fun. I always have so much fun doing those things. As always, you can expect very crazy, uh, very crazy incentives that you can donate for to do the wackiest things possible. And over our goals that are just going to make you either cringe or laugh or cry, you know. Pretty much guarantee a reaction <laughs> so it's going to be a ton of fun and i hope to see you guys there it is going to be on the 18th starting at probably 6 p.m is normally when i like to start those uh those 24 hour streams because then you know the next on the saturday you, it's 6 p.m saturday when it ends and you're vibing you're ready to nappy boys you maybe get some dinner in you stay awake for like another hour or hour and a half and then and you're zoinked out um, I'm gonna murder you, I've decided. I missed. Turns out I'm not gonna murder you. You're definitely not murdering me. You are most certainly not going to murder me. There's no way I will allow that. Oh, he sprinted. Okay. I'm actually very surprised he had sprint. Like, I know he had sprint, but like, to use it when I pop out of nowhere. Can you hit me once so I can get healing? Thank you. Appreciate that one a lot. Very kind of you. All right, let's go ahead and back. He's going Boomba's Poseidon, which automatically makes me think that he is cooler than I will ever be. That's a joke, by the way. Um, I think Booba's hammer is super broken, man. I just hate it. I hate that item. It's too good. I think the thing about it is just like with gods like Poseidon or just mages in general, Nobody mages can camp very easily. So if you're just a mage, go Boomba's Hammer and sit under your tower. And there's nothing any of us can do. Any of us being assassination characters. Okay, that was close. Um, Shout out to my boy, Lifesteal. What's good? <laughs> couldn't, have, couldn't have done it without you, my guy. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God for my passive. Only reason I lived through that is my passive. That Kraken hit much harder than I thought it would. 
To be fair, only 356 damage. It's not like so much damage, but... Still hit me pretty hard, I feel like. You're doing your blue. No big deal. I'm going to do red. Nothing new here. You got Bancroft's finish, which makes it very much... Uh, very hard for me to fight you. But... It shouldn't be too bad, right? Like, I should be okay. Right? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Not only am I okay, but I am freaking thriving, dude. I'm doing so much numbies. I want this blue buff before I go back. I'm only 300 gold ahead, which is surprising. But then you got to think about, like... He's Poseidon, so even when I get kills and push him in and pressure really well, I'm not going to really get a kill on him. Or uh, I'm not going to make him lose any farm. I will get kills on him, but I'm not going to make him lose any farm because he clears with one ability, and he has two different abilities that full clear the wave. So I could probably fight him here, actually. I have beads for Kraken. Oh, he knew. What a giga brain. Bow, bow. No, thank you. Uh, do I go Jotun's here or do I go into some defense here or do I go into beat stick here? None of the above. I want a vampire Pele build. I'm going to vampire Pele build. I've just decided. It's not the best build with Pele because it's very easily countered because you need to be so low HP to proc your passive, which means you die very quick once your passive is proc most of the time. However, maybe if I'm vampiric enough, I can actually live even after my passive is proc. What percentage of health do I? Oh, it's 50%. Oh, you don't say 50%, huh? I thought it was 30%. It actually procs at a pretty decent uh, level then. That's not bad at all. I'm going to back. I'm going to get my soul eater. Great. Another tool I can use Grab one of each health pod. Take a sip of my latte. What's cu what cup is it in? Rise and shine? Oh, I will. Thank you, babe. <laughs> you looked at me like I'm dumb. I am, but like... Oh man, I love that. I love it. That blue is spawning very shortly. No, please me. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't even get it, dude. Darn. That's fine. He had the Kraken for it, so I'm totally okay with that. Him having to Kraken for a blue buff does not feel good on his part. And we're slowly getting ahead. I mean, we're not really uh, getting kills on him right now because he's playing very defensive with his sprint and his two. He's only Krakening in a defensive stance. So, um, you know, he's playing, he's playing for Boombas, basically. He's just playing for Boombas. Which makes my life a little bit more difficult. Nice. Nice. To be honest with you, I really thought he was gonna... Um... What is it called? I really thought he was gonna... Crack in me. That's what it's called. But I guess he didn't have it up. I guess he did not have it up. Alright, now I need to go Jotun's. And I should go into Aegis, honestly, like, it, it kind of sucks, because I don't really want to build Aegis ever. But, I feel like I will need to. I feel like I'm going to have to, which I don't like, but it's fine. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, 
Um. Oh man, there's no there's no life steal here for me. I could go in with my alt at Aegis. He's playing so passive. Okay. Fine by me. I need my I need my passive up. Passive me, Poppy. Passive me, Poppy. All right, now I go in. No. All right. I don't want to fight him when he has his two up. That's scary. No! I was so close, dude. I was so close. Damn, his whirlpool did 700 damage to me. Your middle tower is under attack. Most unfortunate thing about that is I didn't actually have my soul leader uh, procced. I was one stack away from finishing my soul leader, and I didn't have my Jotuns. You know, I just full bought an entire Jotuns that gives me life steal. He has no anti heal yet, so this is perfect. He's probably going to go into it, but eh, it is what it is. Hopefully he picked up blue and not red. That would suck if he got red because I have no defense and he would one shot me. He did pick up red. And that's. Well, I just said it. That's sucky. And he did get Toxic Blade, which is 60% anti heal, but he does have to auto me three times to get it off. So there is some. Uh... Some leeway, I suppose, I have. Okay. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, I can't even reach him, dude. All right. I will have my Jotuns for this. Oh, actually big heals. I actually have really big heals. I don't know if I want the fence or if I want uh, beat stick. He's going into more defense. I'm just going to go... I'm going to go defense. Because him going into more defense... Just means that his damage is going to be lacking. Like, he almost has no power. All of his power comes from just the Bancrofts. So... Defense is going to help me so much here. Couldn't really finish him there, which sucks, but whatever. I'll walk through tower, be annoying. They got his Kraken. They got my ult too. I wonder if I should just go do Bull Demon, honestly. All he's doing is running away. I mean, it's his entire game plan. Pick Poseidon and run. It's a shitty game plan, but it, I mean, it is what it is, right? Because Boomba's hammer exists. That's exactly what he's doing. He's just playing for Boombas. There's no way you're backing. Not that stupid. Okay. I got the red, so he cannot, which is amazing because he really relies on the extra any kind of extra damage he can get right now. His blue is also coming up, which I would like to stop from doing, but if he krakens this, I just alt him, right? Unless he does it from infinitely far away. 
I'm very annoyed at his play style. Clearly. There's not really much I could do there. I need anti-heal, but at the same time, like finishing this defensive item would be massive for me. You saw how hard it was for him to kill me even after taking 1140 damage from tower. What? me? That? That's not the picture I was thinking. Yes, I do. <laughs> if you're wondering what my uh what we're talking about my mom is sending a bunch of pictures of my dad when he was a kid because i look identical to my dad when he was a kid and um and my dad well my mom is sending them all and my dad is like just, just can you not <laughs> can, can you don't for a second please all right he doesn't have uh he doesn't have Cracking up now, so my time to do Bull Demon is literally right now. The problem is he's going to be Omega annoying. Like I just will not be able to catch him ever. Oh my gosh. He's actually just, he's actively avoiding me. He's running as hard as he can. He's just running as hard as he can, man. Talk about annoying. Oh, he actually got that. Oh. I don't think I've ever fought a more annoying human being. Yeah, there you are. What's up, dude? Right, I need to go that, and I'll just go 500 pot here. He did. He did just finish his uh, his Boomba's hammer. I might need to sell Crusher for just Toxic Blade. I won't lose out on any pen. Uh, I'll just lose out on 40 power, but I'll gain 15% attack speed and 60% anti heal, so it's probably worth it. Clearly has everything warded. Um. Yeah, and he's just getting all of the things that like boost movement speed. I'm just gonna have to commit to it. Like I don't really have a choice. And he got it. Dude, I... He is the epitome of massively annoying. I... <laughs> I try not to complain too much in videos, but... My God, man. My God.
please die. Please die. He lived. How? How did you live? That's annoying. I can't, dude, I can't catch him. I have all the anti-heal on the planet right now, so. Thank God. Thank God he's dead. Holy. I am so massively annoyed. He's just running away. He's running away using his Kraken and his one to peel with a sprint. That's all he's doing. I'm taking your Phoenix. I don't care about minions. I'm going to take this blue and then take red. I have no relics up for when he ults me this time. Which is a little bit scary. Um, He's just going to come straight for my Phoenix, I'm pretty sure. I upgraded all of my stuff. I'm still vampiric Pele, but I, it's not even the meme anymore. The meme is just winning. This guy is so annoying. I kind of want to fight, but like, I know I can't, you know what I mean? So... I wonder if I just wait until I get Bold Demon again. So that I can guarantee Phoenix down again. Or if I should just go full on aggressive. Now that my beads are up. And go for the win. I don't know. His damage output is spectacular. He got the sprint that roots me. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, he didn't. I will do this. <clears throat> this buff again. Bull demon. I assume he's going to come over here. Oh, he's not. Okay. There's not really much for me to do right now other than... Uh... I guess other than wait for red buff to come up and then retake Phoenix and wait for a 3k pot. Trying to get me to waste my bull demon. Yeah, it did kind of work. I don't have uh, my bees anymore, but I do have Aegis still, so it's fine. And I will get red. And now all I need to do is get that Phoenix down, back, get my 3k pot, and then win a fight. It's so hard to get a kill on him. Because I've never met anyone more of a rat.
please, 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 please. No. So close, man. So close. Damn. How am I ever going to win this game? The fights are close. Like, uh, I'm not denying that, but it's so... It's so close on both ends, you know? It's not like one person has a massive advantage. I will say, though, he does have a massive advantage in this fight right now because I have no relics or ult to get out of his ult. All right, that was good damage. Oh no. No way you live through this, right? He lives. He lives, doesn't he? Suck my knob! Oh, oh my god. Hey, my god. I'm so happy, huh? <sighs> Anyways, that was that was a superior masculine win, by the way. That was all masculinity that you heard. Either way. Thank God. I would be I'd be tilted beyond belief if I lost to this man. He did nothing but run. Actually nothing but run. He cracked in his feet, pressed two and ran away and then pressed one on occasion to knock me back Ugh. i know that's what he has to do to win right like i'm not delusional um but i honestly think that if he just sat in the corner and boxed and built better like if you if you didn't go this dumbass item and instead you went divine ruin you win the game it's that simple it's that simple or even if you just got like the the sprint that roots you that stops me too. I don't know. His build was really bad. Which is why he lost, but he played so annoying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.